Hey guys, today we received a synopsis for the episode Wishmaker, which is episode 18 of season 4. And so today I'm going to be discussing all of my thoughts and theories that I have for this. And let me just say, they are overflowing. So with that being said, as always, before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. Now, let's get into it. So, as I mentioned, this is episode 18 of season 4, and so the episode that came just before this is Rocketeer, and we all know how that episode ended. We see that now Adrian and Orkan Noir is beginning to not only question his relationship with Ladybug, but also his trust towards her. After he discovered that not only are Nino and Alia miraculous holders, but also have known each other's identities since the beginning. And so with that being said, keeping this in the back of our mind, be prepared to see new emotions and new feelings from Cat Noir towards Ladybug because I think we are all expecting a Lady Noir argument to happen this season and I'm all here for it. So for the past couple of weeks on Instagram, Alex's voice actor Andre has continued to share a few teasers leading up to this soon to be premiere date for Wish Maker, which by the way is August 7th and we will be getting this episode from Disney USA which means that we'll receive this episode dubbed in English first. So with that being said we've gotten teasers such as Alec fans you're going to love this episode and just Andre being just as excited for the episode as we are. So hearing that I'm over here thinking okay maybe Alec will finally be akumatized in this episode. But if we take a look at the synopsis it reads, a supervillain comes to Paris and interrupts Marinette's attempt to think about her future as the villain transforms people's childhood dreams into nightmares. So hold on, let's break that down for a second. So it says, a supervillain comes to Paris. They come. They're not in Paris, but they come. A couple of days ago, I happened to be on Andre's live when he was talking all about voice acting, when all of a sudden, he shared this teaser with us. The new character that I'm voicing on Miraculous. So you guys will meet that new character very soon. I will always voice Alec, but I have another character I'm doing that you'll meet, so that's very exciting. You guys, not only is he going to be voicing a new character, but considering he's saying, Alec fans, you're going to love this episode, does this mean it can include Alec himself? Of course, but maybe it's because he's using a similar voice for this character, or even a little far-fetched. But does Alec have a twin? Considering he said a new character, I highly believe this will actually be a new character and not like a twin for Alec or something. And you guys, I think, I think, okay, it's just a theory, but I think that this new character could be Zoe's dad. But Maya, how? Let me explain. So if we take a look back at the synopsis, it goes, a supervillain comes to Paris and interrupts Marinette's attempt to think about her future. Now, we know in the past that Marinette has been offered by Audrey to pursue a career in becoming a fashion designer. And so when I think about Marinette's future and I think about who could help her pursue being a fashion designer, Audrey comes to my mind. And now thinking about Audrey, who have we yet to see related to Audrey come to Paris? Zoe's dad. However, it wasn't until Miraculous Mexico had tweeted this while I was editing and announced that the villain would be someone they already know. Ultimately, Zoe's dad making an appearance in this episode is very unlikely. However, Andre playing a new character for this season that we'll be seeing very soon, that's something we definitely need to keep in mind for new episodes moving forward. As him playing Zoe's dad for this new character is just a wild guess. We might never see him actually appear in the show. So considering they already know the person and they're coming to Paris, currently my first choice would have to be Felix, but the only thing that I'm questioning is his motive and why he's being named Wishmaker. 
The only thing that really comes to my mind that could be a possible motive for him could be that maybe ever since he was younger, he always wanted the rings. Because we do know that he constantly asked Amelie to tell him the story of the Grand of Vanilli twin rings. But like I said, I'm really curious to see whoever the villain is, what their motive ends up being. And also, a couple of other people that we can think about is Felix's mom, Amelie. Marinette's grandma and uncle, as well as Marianne. So now reading the end of the synopsis, it goes, the villain transforms childhood dreams into nightmares. And so hearing that, it sounds fairly familiar to the episode Sandboy back in season two. However, the difference with the two episodes is that Sandboy was all about bringing nightmares to life, whereas turning people's childhood dreams, something one has been dreaming about ever since they were little, into nightmares, that is creating fear within people they never knew they had until now. Since season 1, we've continuously seen and heard Marinette go on a tangent about how she'd imagine her dream future to be. You know, the house, three kids, and a hamster. And in Scenti Bubbler, we got an update as to what Marinette's current nightmares are, and one of them being the one, the only, Cat Blanc. And not just Cat Blanc, but having to marry him. And guys, literally just a month ago, we were all talking about how there could be a possible Sandboy 2.0 and or Cat Blanc 2.0. And this is literally that. And as for Adrian, considering the only thing we really knew about his childhood is that he was always locked away in his house, could it be that we see he is no longer being controlled and just Free, but then all of a sudden he begins to realize just how dangerous the outside world can be. You know, this is giving me very much Rapunzel vibes. Either way, I know I'm not ready, but I am ready to see this iconic villain return and cause more chaos than ever. Also, remember when Ezra shared this TikTok of himself not too long ago where he listed hashtag Cat Blanc and hashtag Mary Shat? Well, of course he could just be teasing us, but wonder if those hashtags were foreshadowing towards this episode. And so not only will the villain be affecting Marinette and Adrian, but also all the other Parisians in Paris. So could this be an opportunity for us to learn more about the parents and or the secret alliance where we have Gabriel, Audrey, Andre, Timo, and just really see a flashback back into their childhood. I mean, for example, before Audrey came to Gabriel, Gabriel was nothing before Audrey. Another person I'd love to see is Andre and or Mayor Bourgeois. We learned in Soul Crusher that he had a dream of being a movie director. And so I'm thinking not only could this even give us more chances of learning just a teeny bit more about this whole secret parent alliance thing, but also probably get another sneak peek of the movie Solitude. Considering it has to do with movies and it was something that he was working on when Emily was around. And not only that, but you guys remember in Soul Crusher when we got this quick scene and how you could see on the scripts visible, one had Emily, and if we zoom in closer, the other one looks to be like Kagami's mom. Tomo. Now, if this really is Kagami's mom, not only at this period of time is she not blind, but also happened to be acting and being around people such as Emily. The things this episode could unveil, the things. You guys, I am just, I'm getting scared, but scared in a good way because now Lady Noir is no more. And when I say that, of course we have Lady Noir, but what I'm saying is that for the first time, Cat Noir is actually beginning to realize that Ladybug isn't the person he thought she was. In the sense that, of course, she's always had to keep secrets from him, but these kind of secrets? I don't know what is going to happen, but all we can do is wait until the episode comes next week. I'm hoping we get a trailer 
possibly a couple of days or a day before the episode comes out. But even if we don't, I am so hyped for this episode. I would honestly love for it to just be a giant surprise and us not know anything other than what we got today, which was the synopsis. But as always, what do you guys think? This season is just, it's mind blowing, but I love it in every single way. And we're only halfway through this season. I just believe that from now on, from Wishmaker moving forward, every episode is going to get more and more intense. I cannot wait. As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one.